while ago, we went to the factory of HP Watermakers to see precisely how watermakers are produced. But you know that I don't just like to sit and watch, I have to test things firsthand. And to do just that, today I'm in Varese in Liguria to drink. That's the water of the port. I can do that because HP Watermakers is installed on this Absolute 60 Fly its own watermaker system. So welcome aboard. As we already saw in their factory, the HP Watermaker system can be managed by all the onboard electronic brands, thanks to the fact that almost all have opened up to the accessibility of third-party apps, and HP has been the very first one to develop one of their own. This system is called Partnet, and it allows you to control the entire desalination system, meaning the machine and all its functions from the onboard plotter set in the navigation bridge, or if you are connected to the internet, even from your smartphone. Today we have two 17-inch Garmin screens, so we click on One Helm AV indicators, we look for the HP Watermakers app, and this is what it looks like. Obviously, there are different types of displays. We have this one, which is full screen, or there is the combo function, where the screen is divided in two sections, with HP Watermakers app on one side and charts or engine data on the other. Although, if it is as now, that is, with two screens, well, it is way easier. Normally, to turn on and make a water maker work, all you had to do was go down to the engine room, switch on the water maker, and manage the regulating valve, so to bring the internal pressure to the preset bars. This had to be done manually because, unlike temperature, salinity, and water hardness, the valve had to be adjusted ad hoc for the specific circumstance. Well, now it no longer works like that. Yes, because now everything can be managed from the navigation bridge. I click on status and then I have two screens, a synoptic one and the other one with machine data. All we have to do is press start. On the synoptic screen, we can see the movements of the water, while in the other one, that is the status screen, we have all the data about the production of water. For example, the amount of water produced in litres per hour, or the pressure within the membranes. Inoltre, su questa pagina si trova un altro dato molto importante, il water quality, ovvero la qualità del. Also on this screen, you can find another important element, water quality. This refers to the quality of water produced by desalination. It is measured with electrical conductivity that this water has. The more salt remains in the water, the higher the electrical conductivity will be. But don't worry, because even in this case, you don't have to worry about anything. If by any chance the salinity of the water is too high, the HP Watermaker's RP-Tronic machine autonomously rejects the water back into the sea, preventing it from ending up inside the tanks. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, so about an hour's passed. We have stocked enough water in the tanks for our test. Now, all I have to do is press stop. Right now, the RP Tronic machine has started a cleaning cycle in a completely autonomous way. And this is something that happens every time we use the water maker. This can be considered a real innovation because before the ship owner or the crew had to go back into the engine room to open the regulating valve for the rinsing process. That's because with the closed valve, the salt can't flow and it gets stuck in the membranes, clogging them. Just think that since many people didn't follow this procedure, membranes lasted from two to three years. Now, with this completely autonomous system, membranes can be changed every six or seven years. It's almost double the time of change. Now, I want to explain to you another gem of this RP Tronic machine. Let's head back to the engine room. Another interesting thing that happens during the rinsing process is done by the AMCS, Automatic Membrane Conservation System, which doses a small amount of sodium metabisulfite that significantly increases the life of the membranes. But how? 
Sodium metabisulfite fights bacteria proliferation, and if we consider that in an owner's boat, the watermaker is rarely used more than five or six times a year, during the rest of the time inside the membranes you would easily find mucilage, which, with the occasional recirculation of fresh water, would have more sustenance. Friends of the boat show, now it is time for the real test. But first, I have to say something. For broadcasting reasons, but above all, for the authenticity of our test, we wanted to try this in the port, where the water is filthier to put maximum stress on all components of the desalination process. However, we do not recommend it. Don't do this at home, or rather, on boat. Let's recap. The filthy and salty water of the port has been desalinated, filtered and then stocked in the tanks, where it arrived as osmotic water, which means it has very low percentage of minerals, which is not ideal for our organism. Now, in order to drink it, it must go through the HP Genius machine that remineralizes it. And for those who want, it can even give you sparkling water. The process is now over. That water is now in this glass, and the last thing left for me to do is drink some good and fresh water. Cheers!